This movie is phenomenal. It is so well done. It's so entertaining. There's so much heart and motion and style. You know, starting with you when you're going back to writing this, did you picture everything you had planned for this or did it change as you're making it? And what was that process like? I mean, it, it definitely evolved uh, as, um, as everything evolved. I mean, I, and just to step back, I'd say that, you know, the film that you see is a result of definitely like my own personal evolution as a person, not just a filmmaker. Um, and where I'm at and what, what I want to share with audiences, you know, and the, the view of Muslim women, the view of mothers, um, what audiences leave with. So, so that's one part of it. But then, um, yeah, I mean, there are pieces of the film that we found in the edit, you know, I mean, there's things that were not on the page that my incredible editor, Simone Smith, and I talked about, or, you know, this film is an adaptation, a loose adaptation of a play and inspired by a short film I made 10 plus years ago. I went back to the short film during the edit and like watched it for inspiration of, I knew, I knew the film needed something, was missing something. Mm. I went back to the short film to, to find what the thing was that made me begin this whole thing. Mm. And the footage of the film when in the film that you see is what I took from that short film. Interesting. Let's try bringing that in. Wow. Um, so that was uh, definitely a part of the process. Some of the things that were in the script were some of the kind of uh, quick cuts of chai and, and samosas and, and wanting to uh, wanting to move the story along in ways that kind of are not stereotypically dramedy or drama or comedy uh, per se, but just right. but just wanting to bring things I love to, to the story. Yeah, I mean, sorry, not, not to exclude you so early, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but the, the editing is phenomenal. I can only imagine that that was a huge undertaking. I mean, yeah. did you, were you prepared for what that was going to be like? I was prepared for whatever it took, you know, mm -hmm. and I think the, the, for me, what I really learned about my process with this film is that it takes time it'll take as long as it needs and best story wins um and ultimately whatever makes the best movie is what we do and you know there were scenes that did not make it into the film that were scenes that were hard to film they cost money they got a lot of money to film but they weren't they weren't um emotionally uh, connecting and hitting in the way the other scenes did and um, they just didn't feel like um, they needed to be there. So, you know, there were some hard decisions that were made. Simone Smith is an exquisite editor and I, I, she speaks, I'm sure, a lot of directors' language, mm. languages, but she definitely speaks Fazia um, and understands Fazia. And so we reworked every scene until we found its best mm. version. And we also shared it with people. It was really important to me, like, you know, I am one person, and so it's really helpful to share the film and share it with really trusted filmmakers and people whose work I really admire right. and um, who are much more experienced than me. And, you know, there were some exquisite nuggets of wisdom that came out of sharing the work. And um, I applied those, and, you know, as soon as I, I heard some of the feedback, I was like, oh, my God, this is so obvious. Of course, this is how we can make this better. So... It, it was a true collaborative uh, process and, and Simone will just go with you and she was with me the entire time and as invested and committed as, as I was. That's cool. Well, sir, you know, this story, this, this love story, but, but also, of course, the, the mother-daughter relationship, everything else. I mean, when you're stepping into this role, you know, did, did you picture him in a certain way going in? Did that stay with you? What did you imagine him as? Um, honestly, when you know, Fazia first approached me for the, for the part, <laughs> admittedly, I was like, not interested. I don't want to play brand doctors anymore. And the fact that he was a doctor ultimately like had nothing to do with, you know, the, the, the bigger picture. You know, and I read it again and I read it again. And I was just like, this is, this dude's just, he's a, he's a good father. For a, 
for a daughter to miss him this much after he's gone, he must have must have done things the right way. And um, you know, speaking of brand doctors, I I actually just finished the third season of Transplant on October thirty first, uh, and that on November first was my first day on set for Quit My Dreams. So it wasn't. I didn't really have a lot of prep time in that regard. So, you know, sort of the, the benefit of, of all of that was you get, you know, it's baptism by fire and Alhamdulillah, like I had so much information about Hassan just in my experience with my own father and, you know, this relationship that I've built with him over the last 33 years of my life and it still continues to grow. And it was just an intuitive thing. I just put everything that I know about my dad, all the best things that I know about my dad into this. And then it started to take shape in the sense of um, when we went back to 1969, I'm just like, well, what would my dad have been like when he had a, a, this really fancy job and he was kind of the most eligible bachelor, had a full head of hair, you know what I mean? <laughs> like was wearing nice suits and was like the guy because um, I, I, was, I was speaking to somebody at the premiere yesterday and they were saying, it's like, no, it's, it reminded me so much of my own dad, but, you know, like, he, he keeps on convincing me that he was, you know, he, you know, he tries to tell me, he's like, no, it was a lot cooler back in the day. And I'm just like, all of our fathers were, they uh, still are, they were, they were that guy yeah. back home and they leveraged all of that to come here to provide for us. Uh, they they gave all of that up as opposed to just being a cool guy. Their their priorities changed as it does as I'm starting to realize in my own journey with Bob and I, that your priority with coolness and with flashiness and admittedly with full heads and hair, <laughs> you know what I mean? It starts to it starts to it starts to recede. Uh, and and it's um, you know I, I'm I'm grateful to have had the experience of of really digging into that and to have someone like uh, you know. Bazia, you know, guide me through that to have someone like a record play along, um, both in terms of, okay, cool, like here's here's the younger version of my dad that I would like to be, and here's the older version of my daughter who I would love to have had this kind of impact on. Um, I think that was just, uh, it was an exercise in, in, in faith and uh, good writing, good directing, good acting, then, I mean, good, such a subjective term, but uh, personally drew it in terms of that and, and going about it as honestly as we could it was uh, I don't know hopefully a couple of audience will watch it and it will remind them about themselves or their parents or their relationship with growth and change and loss and insert one more word one more word grief grief joy grief no, yeah grief and joy can't be directed yeah both sides, both sides. <laughs> Uh, well, and um, oh my God, there was something you were saying about. Um, well, and actually, when I spoke to Hamza on the phone, because Hamza was actually the first person cast. In the oh, film, really? Ironically. You know what's funny? In this movie so, about so, women. Sorry, so, <laughs> sorry, the funny thing about that is it was I was standing at the corner of St. Catherine and Stanley Street in Montreal on a day so similar to this. Oh, wow. We're pan out to this kind of, I don't know if you knew the couch, but this light dusting of snow. I was literally standing on that street corner having that conversation with you. Oh my God. And I, I was wow. lit, this morning when it started to snow, I was just like, this is exactly like what oh, you know, weird. Like, yeah. well, that to me means yeah. that to me, we're meant to be in this bunk. We're in the yeah. humble at the right place at the oh. right time. And well, and, and, and when, you know, Hamza had read the script and we were talking, he was expressing, you know, in that early conversation that, he was connected to the father and the father-daughter relationship. And, you know, as a director, as a creator, you're just, you're wanting people to find themselves in the, in the work and in, in, in what you've written in the world. And, you know, I mean, I'm so blessed with how the film turned out and all the pieces coming together and I'm so proud of it. And it was really hard. You know, it's hard to make a movie. It's a miracle that something even gets made, all, and, and much less made well, much less people like and love and cry and laugh at at the same time, right? And so, and, and you know, when, when you make it, the thing I've learned since making this movie is this is why people make their first film, 
in uh, one location <laughs> with like two actors. You know what I mean? That's, that's why they do it because it's a lot to take on and you are sort of learning as you go. And so having- uh, Not this one. <laughs> that, like, I don't know, let's jump into the pool, the deep end. Oh, it's the ocean, cool. Yeah. Uh, but, but truly like I, I really benefited and needed, I benefited from and really needed the cast to have that immediate connection. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons I was so excited and knew it's like that Hamza was right, was he found that connection immediately. It, it obviously says something about like, sort of like your emotional intelligence as an actor, but also you're, you're like, oh, this is my truth. Here's how I find my truth and my way in. And not every actor does that or knows how to do that so precisely. And, um, I needed that because we didn't have a lot of time. Right. And you know, if there was, if, if we were to, if I were to cast someone who's like, I don't know, I'm not really connected to my culture and I don't really care about it, that would not have worked. Right. You know, and, and that sort of goes to something that we were talking about this earlier is the idea of, you know, the benefit and the importance of casting folks for like their authentic selves mm -hmm. versus trying to contort them into something they would never be. Right. Well, I could talk about this movie for an hour, but they're, they're going to come kick me out. But thank you so much for the time. It is just a tremendously amazing film. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your generosity.